Hey guys, Sweet Caliber here. Um, today we've got a Takeda combo tutorial, also just a slight tutorial in general. Now this combo is going to get you about 42% damage, and it's using Janet for this one. I'm sure Takeda would work pretty well with other supports, I'm just most comfortable with Janet, and it's easier to get air combos off with Janet. Now whereas this may not be as difficult as some other combos, such as Homelander, it's still going to be quite difficult to learn. It took me quite a bit, not as long as some other characters, but still a fair amount. Now we're going to be starting this one off with Temple Razor, which is a back 2-1, also known as a back triangle square if you play on PlayStation, which is going to look like this. Now this can hit from pretty far, it can almost hit from your starting point, but you might want to give it a bit of a step forward before you hit it. Right after Temple Razor, you're going to be doing your Swift Stride, which is a back forward X or back forward 3. And that's going to look like this normally. Now you'll notice you can't really do much out of that, but that's where the swift stride phase comes in. So after your back forward three, you're going to hold up straight after. If you do that properly, you're going to have it looking like that. Now if we pair them both together, it'll look like this. So yeah, just make sure to hold up. You can also hold back, I believe, and it'll do the same thing. But either way, you want it to look like that, rather than look like this. Now after your swift stride phase, you want to follow it up with a sparrow strike, which is a 2-4 in midair. And it's going to look like this if you pair it together. The timing's a bit difficult, so you might want to try practice the start of the combo a bit before you try and extend it further. It'll look like this from swift stride phase. Now we'll start that all from the beginning. And that's what it's going to look like there. So after that you want to follow it up with an Enhanced Spear Ryu in mid-air, which is a down back 2. Follow it up with your um, trigger button right as you press 2. With this combo you're going to be using two super meters. Now I've tried um, practicing without using super meters in different ways, but without using them you can't actually get as much off. And you can't get the damage as high as it should be. So Optimally, you're going to want a few super meters stashed away before you get into any one of these combos. Now, I'll show you what the Enhanced Spear Ryu will look like from Swift Stride Phase. It's going to look like that. And now from Temple Razor. Now, from your Enhanced Spear Ryu, you want to follow it up with a Knight's Fail, which is just a one mid-air as they're being pulled up towards you. And that will look like this. So you just smack them back mid-air, and that gets you on the ground quicker, so you can follow it up. Now this can be a bit tricky to do, as you do need a bit of timing with the Knight's Fail. Depending on when you do it. See, if you try hit them in the feet as they're mid-air, it's going to be the best, because then you have more room to set up for your next move. But then also, if you do hit them in the body as they're on their way up, you can still follow it up fairly well. Now unfortunately I can't properly show you on the screen the exact list, because we're going to be doing Temple Razor twice, and we can't have it on the list two times in a row. But right after your Knight's Veil, you want to follow it up with another Temple Razor while they're a bit far from you, just to keep the distance and keep the combo going. And that will look like this from Swift Stride Phase. So you'll see you can continue the combo and get some good damage in. Now I'll show you from the beginning on the original Temple Razor. It's going to look like that. You're already hitting 32% damage, so it's going quite well. Now right after your second Temple Razor, you want to follow it up while they're on the ground with the Enhanced Double Spear Ryu. Now that's a back forward two. So this is your normal move, whereas if you do the Enhanced, you'll bounce your opponent up in the air, and that'll let you follow up with more moves. Now I'll show you guys what that'll look like from your Swift Stride phase. So it'll look just like that, and your opponent will bounce in the air, and that'll let us keep the combo going. Now those are the only two super meters we'll use. From here on, there's not much to the combo. So after you've gotten all of that down, that's pretty much all the tricky parts. 
sorted. From there, it's going to be a bit easier for you to learn. Now, right after you've done your enhanced double spear Ryu, we're going to be doing another sparrow strike. So that'll look like this. So just immediately after they bounce, you want to continue in midair and do your sparrow strike like that. From there, that's where you'll be bringing out Janet. So you want to do this with Janet. Do a double hop skip punch while they're midair. If you don't know how to do the double hop skip punch, it's a bit tricky. I typically just spam the support button while holding forward and she ends up doing two hops instead of the one. Now I'll show you guys what that looks like from Swift Stride Phase. And you want to follow closely under just so you can close the distance and end the combo with your next move which I'll show you just now. Now your last move for this combo is going to be your Falcon Dive. And you can also pair this into the Yakuza Drop Brutality. And that's going to end the fight in the combo. And it's going to look a bit fancy if you pull it off online as well. Now your Falcon Dive is going to be done the same as Sparrow Strike, just with an added grab on the end. You can also press L1 instead of pressing 1-3 at the same time. So you can do it either way if you look at the left of the screen. For reference, I'll show you what your Falcon Dive will look like from the Enhanced Double Speed Ryu. It's going to be just like that. If you hold down while you're coming down midair, then that's going to lead you into the Yakuza Drop Brutality if you want to go on that path. And now I'll show you what that looks like if we do the initial Sparrow Strike and then follow up with Janet from the Enhanced Double Speed Ryu. going to look just like that. And now I'll show you what everything looks like from the start at Temple Razor all the way to the end at Falcon Dive. Now you'll see there you pull off about 43% damage, so that's a lot of damage. You're going to be using two supers, but it's worth it in the end for the amount of damage you get off with it. Now that's basically the full combo, but I still urge you guys to try spice it up where you can. If you can figure out a way to do it with less super meters, then that'll be beneficial for you. Just so you have them saved up for escapes and such. And that'll end it for this video, guys. Um, next up, I have Raiden coming. Someone requested that I do either Raiden or Katana. So I've chosen that. I'm going to learn Raiden, and I'll probably pump a video out for him either today or tomorrow. If you guys have any other suggestions for combos you'd like to see, please let me know. Because I'm always happy to give you guys what you want and show you how I string all this stuff together. Make optimal combos just for you guys to see and get better at the game. Right, thank you guys for watching. See ya. <laughs>